Good morning, everybody. It's Mariah, and welcome back to my channel, girl. If you are new, you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe down below because you're going to love it here. Today has been um, very interesting to say the very least and the day just started like literally it's 9 30 literally 9 30 in the morning and i'm already just i'm not gonna say i'm not having a good day because ultimately like that's up to me to decide if i'm gonna have a good day or not but you know how you just wake up and the day just start out like not so good like not on the best note that's kind of where i'm at right now that's how i'm feeling um, I'm trying to not let it bother me. I'm trying to like not be irritated about it because lately I have been really good at protecting my energy, okay? I've been so on top of it. I've been so on top of just controlling my emotions, controlling like my day. Like if something pisses me off, okay, cool, but I'm not gonna let it like ruin my entire day because oh Mariah, like if something pissed me off, cancel the whole day, cancel the whole day. like. We're gonna try again tomorrow, right? And looking back, having that mindset, it hasn't really gotten me anywhere. Um, I just don't think it's beneficial, you know? So I've been I've been getting better, y'all. I've really been getting better at that. And today is just one of them days where I feel like I'm being tested. Like I'm really, really being tested, like, you know? But we good, we Gucci, like I'm still gonna have a good day. I'm still gonna get everything done that I wanted to get done today. Why? Because I said so. But yeah, I literally had no intention on like coming on here and even talking about it, but I just can't fake the funk. Like if something is like pissing me off, I'm a little irritated, like it's gonna show. Y'all know um, I'm usually like not this mellow. I'm very like outgoing and bubbly and like, what's up y'all, Mariah? Like no, today is like not starting out like that. But I'm here to let y'all know that no matter what, like you are in control of your day, right? You're in control of how the day goes, how you feel about the day. Like you're literally in control of your productivity, of your mindset. I know this is something that, you know, people should just know, like it's obvious, but I feel like we really don't understand like how in control we are of situations and how we react and you know how we choose to go about the rest of our day like it's literally our life and i just feel like if you let somebody have like that much control over your emotions or not even somebody just like situations or scenarios that might have happened or whatever like you cannot let that consume you don't let nothing or anybody okay nothing or nobody get in the way of you having a good day get in the way of you being productive get in the way of your emotions okay i'm not telling y'all that y'all can't feel you know what i'm saying we're all human we have feelings of course but don't let it consume you that's like my little ted talk for today i guess that i didn't even plan on having but like ugh. okay yeah don't let it consume you um you are in control of your day of your week the trajectory of your life you know what i'm saying like you can't point the finger at nobody oh he pissed me off today so i'm having a bad day oh she got my nerves today or this didn't happen or this got canceled so you can't let that consume you you can't let it consume you um the famous saying when life give you lemons girl what you gonna do what you what you gonna do yeah make lemonade okay and that's just what i'm doing today because i'm not gonna let that consume me um, so yeah, girl, we're still gonna get up. We're still gonna be productive and we're still gonna get to it. Um, it's really early. Like I said, it's only like what? 9.45 now. Yeah, 9.46 a.m. And we're gonna have a good day today. So I'm about to go ahead and make me some breakfast. But really quickly, like my hair looks so good. Like literally, I went out last night and I pinned up the curls that I did last night. And girl, my hair still looks so good. I mean, given it's not like the freshest, you know curls ever but if i like did my makeup and stuff i could go out like this like i feel like my hair like really looks good like 
I don't know. I need to get some flexi rods because doing the pink curls at night and then like laying on my head, they be poking my scalp, they be hurting. So we might get some flexi rods soon. But I don't like um, how flexi rods turn out. Or maybe I'm not doing them right. But whenever I pin curl my hair with the clips, shoves kiss every time, y'all know this. And day two hair is giving. <laughs> day two hair is really, really giving, like, period. I've been trying to find ways to not put, like, heat on my hair every single day. Because if you have extensions, then you already know, like, your hair starts smell like flat iron and it be stink. It's only so much that hair perfume can do, okay? So I be trying like not to put like heat on my hair every single day because it gets that flat iron like burnt hair smell and it never gave that for me or for you. So this is your sign to pin up your hair um, after you curl it because they too hair be given, it be given. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm getting so off topic. But yeah, I kinda just woke up and wash my face, um, brush my teeth, and here we are. Um, I'm wearing this super cute um, slip, like nightgown kind of dress. And yes, it is from Savage X Fenty. You guys know that we were working with them like basically all year, last year in 2023. And I still have so many pieces that I haven't worn, haven't even showed you guys because when they send packages, like they send packages, okay? Y'all can go in like some of my vlogs from like last year to see. It's so cute, like it's so cute, so flattering. Um, It's a dress, like a nightgown, but it's really, really short. <laughs> and YouTube is not finna flag me and y'all ain't finna see my goodies, okay? No. So I just threw on these little sweatpants. Um, These are like gray sweatpants from Adidas. Um, Y'all know it's cold in my house, okay? Y'all know we get real cold in here, so I'm not mad about putting on the sweatpants at all. But yeah, we're about to go ahead and make us some breakfast. I have been loving this breakfast combination recently, and I feel like it's working. I feel like it's really working. Y'all know we've been in our like workout bag. Um, I told y'all in my last vlog that I was thinking about cutting out carbs and dairy. Today marks the day that we're officially a little bit over a week of absolutely no dairy, y'all. No dairy at all. No milk, no cheese. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I mean by like no dairy. No milk and no cheese. And coming from somebody who literally consumed... I'm gonna wait till they done. My neighbor's dogs be going crazy in the hallway because control that. I'm trying to vlog. Okay, anyway, literally no cheese, no dairy, okay? And if you know anything about Mariah, you know I love me some cheese, okay? No sour cream, like no creamer, coffee, like, like literally nothing. No dairy for one week. And baby, when I tell you, I have never felt lighter. I have never felt better, okay? And I was going strong with no carbs for like four days. But girl, that fifth day, I had to get me a burrito from Chipotle. I had to, I literally had to, like I just, I couldn't say no. <laughs> but I didn't get any dairy. I didn't get no cheese, no sour cream. Um, I didn't get any dairy on my burrito, just the tortilla. So I'm not gonna lie, we did go out sad that one day. Other than that though, I have been really, really consistent. But for me personally, I'm trying to work on like my gut health and dairy and gluten can cause severe inflammation in your gut. And I feel like for me personally, like that is something that I just am trying to take care of. And also when you cut out dairy and like um, gluten, it's also really good for your skin. I don't know if I mentioned that, but like, I don't know if I mentioned that. But like, yeah, the skin is just, I just have no words. My skin looks so good and it feels really good too. Like I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking on my skincare and my skin is still eating down. Like what? I feel like if you are breaking out or you know, if you struggle with acne or anything like that, obviously like go hard with your skincare. Also pay attention to what you're consuming internally, okay? Are you drinking sodas? Are you drinking like high um, processed sugary drinks, energy drinks, coffee, like literally any drink that has like crazy amounts of sugar, um, syrupy drinks and stuff like that, fried foods, a lot of um, bread, white bread, carbs, gluten, dairy, milk and cheese. Like literally pay attention to what you're consuming, okay? Because everything on outside starts from within, okay? Amen? So 
yeah i literally have been loving the results of my low no dairy and low carb gluten free era that i'm in right now i'm not saying this is gonna be like a whole lifestyle change for me but i want to just keep it going as long as i can okay or just try to like not do so much of it because too much of anything nine times out of ten turns out to be a bad thing so especially dairy especially dairy especially carbs i'm a carb girly i'm a dairy type of girl i love cheese it's a little bit over a week of me cutting that stuff out and i'm already seeing like crazy results like crazy results i'm not even gonna show y'all my abs right now because <laughs> y'all know them abs be having like uh, y'all know y'all know but just know like i am feeling better than ever so if you have been struggling with like bloating or like you know your face is breaking out or you know whatever the case may be girl just try it okay even if you think it might not work for you or like do anything for you just try it just 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 give it a try and come back to this video in a week and like let me know because baby hey baby it's giving it's 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 really giving um anyways y'all i'm just getting off track i really am getting off track literally i feel like whenever i cut this camera on i be having so much to tell y'all and like so much to say like i really really love y'all for real but anywho we're gonna start up with breakfast today get our morning started with breakfast you guys know i am a tea type of girl okay i can't even tell you the last time i had any coffee a cup of coffee cold hot ice whatever i have been on a coffee hiatus obviously i just told you guys that i'm not doing dairy so that's part of the reason too but um just high in sugar and just like it's just caffeine like i just want to break and i haven't been doing matcha either um i know matcha is a healthier alternative but the way i make my matcha i don't really think it's the healthiest thing for me so i just been trying to like back off on certain things as you can see so a great alternative to that is my morning tea i also have tea at night too i'm just a tea girl i love tea um you can put honey in it or any other like organic um sweetener like agave or anything like that to make it taste a little bit better if you don't like the taste of tea but me personally i love the taste of tea and my collection is just growing like i feel like i'm really like in my tea era okay and then to go with our tea i'm also gonna make some oatmeal i've really been enjoying my oats in the morning i really have been enjoying that i get the variety pack from the quakers brand they have like maple cinnamon apple cinnamon and like cinnamon and sugar really 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 good really filling um usually i've been doing it with like fruit but i just ran out of fruit yesterday when i tell y'all i eat this every morning okay because summer is coming up y'all want to just express this y'all like summer summer's on the way like summer is practically almost here okay and i want to be thick <laughs> like baby what i spice say i'm thick because i be eating oats yeah i forgot what she said after that but it was a bar hold on let me find it because i spice really like try to tell y'all like <laughs> wait where is it i'm thick because i be eating oats which is not taking shit for me but notes when i be me so she do my emotes and my name in her mouth i bet she gonna choke oh. <laughs> yo okay yeah but yeah basically y'all get the point eat them oats okay because yeah so I've been doing my oatmeal and my tea in the morning and that's just like been my go-to breakfast. Although it's feeling, it's also like super light at the same time. After breakfast, I guess we're gonna get into our big three. I'm not even gonna tell y'all what that is. If you've been watching my vlogs, then you already know what that is. I wanna see like who really, who really be tapped in? Who really be tapped in? So we're gonna get into our big three after our breakfast and i want to go to a yoga class today but i'm trying to get on the list they're completely booked today um but i'm on the waiting list so if i'm able to go to yoga today we're gonna do yoga but if not then we're gonna go to the gym but regardless i really just want to work out i really want to work out today and move my body so if we can't do yoga then we're gonna go to the gym okay so that's what's on the agenda. I also need to do some spring cleaning. It might look clean in this background, okay? But baby, <laughs> the dishes. 
Um, yeah, I need to like throw out some expired food. I need to do dishes. I need to throw out, not throw out, but like um, sort my clothes out to see like what clothes I'm gonna give to Goodwill and like do laundry in general. I literally have so many loads of laundry that I need to do. I need to Swiffer my floor. I need to vacuum, um, wash my pillowcases. Like girl, that bathroom, like we just need to do a whole like spring cleaning type of thing because I haven't done one and I know I have so many clothes that I could be you know going to Goodwill or like I don't know giving them away girl I just need to wipe out my closet literally because yeah we need to make room for new pieces if you didn't know summer is my favorite season and not just because my birthday's in the summer like no but I really just love summer I'm not really a spring girly because of the pollen and the bees and the bugs and stuff like that that's just not my vibe in the rain like mm -mm. i just love summer i feel like summer is the best season everything's better in the summer and my birthday's in the summer so i'm really really excited and also really stressed out y'all i literally have no idea what i'm gonna do for my birthday like literally this birthday is an iconic birthday like this is like you know milestone birthday you know what i'm saying so i really want to do something that is gonna be memorable something that i know i'm gonna like look back on like 10 years from now and like have so many things to say about it like you know just really look back at that and be like dang like i really enjoyed my birthday so if y'all have any ideas on something that i could do like really 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 dope for my birthday like i said this is a milestone birthday keep this in mind okay so we gotta go big, go big or go home. My friends are literally no help. I've been texting them, asking them, and I know they're gonna watch this video. What should I do for my birthday? Where should I go for my birthday? And everybody's response is all the same. Oh, you can do what you wanna do anyway, so whatever. Okay, but I'm asking you. I'm, 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 I'm literally asking you like to help me. Anyways, girl, enough of me rambling, okay? Because y'all know I be going at it, okay? This mouth, I can just talk. I just love to talk. like. I don't know what it is and i just love talking to y'all like i don't know um i'm about to go ahead and start on my breakfast because yeah i'm just saying a whole bunch of nothing y'all so yeah let me stop talking and let's go ahead and get into this breakfast okay really quick i wanted to show y'all my little section i have in my cabinet for like all my teas and stuff when i told y'all i got down I get down okay like I just love tea this is like my matcha that I be using like when I do matcha but I told you I haven't really been in a matcha kick lately so we're not gonna look at that but like girl the teas go crazy as you can see I literally have two of the spearmint teas because I go through these so quickly like this box probably can get gone in like a little over a week literally because i drink it like in the morning and at night literally if not every day then every other day and i just love it it's so good so i've been doing the spearmint and then this is something i had to the instacart order and i guess the one that i wanted they didn't have and they gave me like this one with all these like different flavors in there um i've only tried the sleepy time tea and the lemon ginger i haven't tried the honey vanilla peppermint i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that i don't know how to pronounce that but i've never tried the other ones but this one is really good i really like that one a lot it reminds me of the lemon ginger tea that y'all know i love but yeah this is like a um a pack with like a whole bunch in there so i have this one and then when i was sick i was drinking this one this is by the yogi brand and it's caffeine free so love that i don't even know what's in here cinnamon seed orange peel okay yeah a whole bunch of stuff that's supposed to like make your throat feel better girl i don't know so i got this and then this has been a new favorite of mine personally i think i like this one better than the lemon ginger tea because this is just ginger and honey and it has zinc in it like y'all this i really just have been loving this one lately so yeah and then i also got this one um i don't know why one day i was in a mood to just try something different this is country peach passion um i'm not gonna say i don't like her but like she's different and then I have a bunch of other teas in here that my auntie sent me. Um, this is elderberry immunity tea by Tabitha Brown. 
and then this is um lemon balm for immune and stress like my auntie she just be sending me teas because she know i'm a tea girl but the tea bags and the peach passion one hold on y'all i'm trying to get them out so i can show y'all they look like this and i don't like that like i need the little string and this one got no string in it so i don't know i really haven't been drinking that but it's all right i guess but yeah girl these are all my teas i'm just a tea girl and i just want y'all to become tea people too we can talk about tea together because like tea is just so good for you and i'm like in an era right now where i just want to do what's good for me so yeah love that and i'm trying to figure out what oatmeal i want to do today this is the um, instant oatmeal I was telling y'all about, by the way. They have like apples and cinnamon, maple and brown sugar, cinnamon and spice. I'm kind of feeling apples and cinnamon. You know, apples got fiber in them. So I think we're gonna go with the apples and cinnamon. Or maybe we can mix it. Let's do apples and cinnamon and then cinnamon and spice. Cause the maple and brown sugar be like too, too, too sweet sometimes. And so, yeah, we're gonna do apple and cinnamon and then cinnamon and spice. I got my water in my measuring cup, y'all. I don't play, okay? I've been needing my measurements to be right because oatmeal, I feel like, has to have a certain consistency. Like, one wrong move and you, you know, eating porridge or some nasty shit. Like, I don't know. So, I be having to make sure, like, it's the perfect consistency. I do two-thirds cup of water per pack so i just did that so now i'm gonna do another two-thirds when i add this one so that was our cinnamon and spice this is gonna be our apples and cinnamon and before i would have used milk but you know we're on a no dairy kick so we're gonna use water then you want to give it a nice little stir go ahead and put it in the microwave for a minute and 45 seconds and then while my oatmeal is cooking I'm gonna go ahead and get my tea started today I'm doing um then that was quick today I'm doing spearmint and the ginger honey and I like to add my honey first so I can see like how much honey I would really be putting in my tea. And then I'm gonna add my water. Hopefully this had time to cool off because it was literally like smoking, piping hot. Okay, cool. And then I like to mix it. Organic spearmint tea this morning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then ginger honey with that zinc, that zinc a dink dink, if you know, you know. <laughs> so this is what the vibes are today and I'm really excited. Dang, what the heck? And I saw this on TikTok, the longer you let your tea sit, because I'm not gonna lie, I be greedy y'all. Like I don't let it sit for that long, but I started to now and it just tastes way better because tea gets more time to like you know absorb in the water and so it just the taste is just better so i'll be trying to let it sit for at least like 10 minutes and i'll put the spoon on it so that you know it can stay under the water on our tea bag it says nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished okay and this one says Healthy never tasted so good. <laughs> okay, so that's our little quote, I guess, for today for our tea bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little bit while we get our oatmeal together. Oh my gosh, y'all, it literally smells so good. Oh, it's the perfect consistency. Uh, and this is just what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna um, put it in for another 45 seconds. But honestly, I could really eat it like this. The oatmeal is kind of like grits. The consistency has to be there. If the consistency is not there, then it's really ruined. Like oatmeal, grits, and like rice even too. If the rice not right, the grits not right. If the oatmeal ain't right, 
Mommy, I'm not eating it. Okay? So we're going to do another 45 seconds. Y'all want to know like my favorite song lately? Do you? Do you got more than... That's my song. Like, I feel like Future really is in his bag right now with that new album because it literally snaps. And I don't even smoke, but I just love when he be like, I'm fried. I'm fried. That song, I just be feeling it. I don't know why. I just love that song. It's so hot, so we're gonna let this chill off for a second. I am gonna add some more cinnamon and sugar. The spice, I have the spice in my little spice cabinet. If I can find it, child, I don't even know what it is. Oh, I have these two. These are like cinnamon sticks. I forgot why I bought this. I be buying random stuff, y'all. <laughs> it really be for the aesthetics, if you know, you know, that's ground cinnamon, but I literally have a spice that is cinnamon and sugar. Oh, here it is. Why do I have two ground cinnamons? I just be buying stuff. The spice that I was talking about, cinnamon and sugar. I just sprinkle some of this in my oatmeal and it's so good. I just love the taste of cinnamon in the morning. I also need to buy some more candles, y'all, but I'm really trying to burn out all my old ones. I had this candle that my cousin got me. It was like a coffee scented candle and I would literally burn it every morning and it smelled so good. Like, it literally smells so good. So I think I'm gonna um, get another cinnamon coffee like candle so I can burn it in the morning because that candle really used to just make me happy. It really used to just like set the vibe for my day, so. I think I'm gonna try and find another cinnamon coffee-like candle. I think my tea is pretty much cooled off for the most part. So we got that and my oatmeal. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and eat my breakfast. And then um, if you didn't know what I was talking about earlier, this is my big three. Okay, these are my Bible highlighters. These are really good, by the way. Love these. And then y'all know my Bible and then my gratitude journal. And then this on the bottom is like my regular journal. I just write all like my manifestations in there, my goals, my dreams. And like sometimes I YouTube like content plan in here as well. This is just like a brain dump type of thing on the bottom. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this and eat my breakfast. And I guess we will just rekindle once I'm done. Start thinking about what does it cost if I really want the life that I say I want in God? You don't want to just be another gathering of people who come and lift their hands on Sunday and act like hell on Monday. We don't want to be a people who come in and put the church face on Sunday and then you leave here and you're operating in a defeated uh, way all week. God is asking us this question. Here's the question. Will you partner with me in building my house? I have not come to play the church games and the religious games and the things that my, my family members talked about a long time ago. I want a real gospel right now. Does anybody in this room want a real gospel? That's not some rubbing of the Bible and a fairy tale gospel, but you want to be able to walk in the fullness of what God has for you. Up at Acts chapter 5 and their obedience. Acts chapter 5 verse 14. I'm reading it from the CSB version. The party of the Sadducees were filled with jealousy. They were hating y'all. Good is not always celebrated. Have you ever been doing good, minding your business, going about your business, and then you see people looking at you with the side eye? And you're like, I'm not even messing with you. I'm just trying to stay focused on what God has for me. Sadducees, they held a role of the religious leaders of the day. They held the role of the authorities of the day. Let me say it like this. They were the influencers of the day. I have an assignment. People talk about snatching edges. <laughs> My assignment today is to be a spiritual chiropractor. Because I'm not here to, to formatively snatch edges. I'm here to snatch you back into the alignment of God. I have an assignment today to make sure that you don't walk around here broken and bent over and thinking that you have a, a half understanding of the gospel, but that you know fully, for God I live and for God I will die, and it will cost me. 
Be careful if you're around people that get a little weary when you stop looking to them for the answers and you start going to God for the answers. A sign that someone is really not aligned with your best interest at heart is that if you stop calling them when you're in a rut and you start calling on the name of Jesus and they say you've changed, you need to be able to answer affirmatively, yes, I have changed. I've changed because I can no longer depend on man. I've changed because I know I can't fix it myself. I've changed because I know for God I live and for God I die. And if I'm going to make it, I have to depend on him. Oh, angel walked up to my door. Just that everything takes time. You gotta trust the signs. Everything will turn out fine. So there's really no end in sight. In 44 minutes. done with our morning routine and I'm just putting some deodorant on just trying to freshen up real quick because I got accepted to um I was you know what I'm trying to say I got off the wait list for hot yoga I told her this morning that I was on a wait list and they actually let me in the class so we have like 30 minutes this sports bra is from Savage X Fenty it's like this little zebra print I think I don't know and then of course the pants are Lululemon and I'm bringing my own yoga mat because yeah I don't play that and I'm really excited like one thing about me I used to love hot yoga like I was literally in my hot yoga era whenever I do hot yoga I always just feel so good and like so replenished and it's a vibe and the last time I went to hot yoga I want to say it was in January when my cousins were here, we all did like a cute little group class together. And I literally fell asleep. <laughs> That's how relaxed I was, y'all. Like, I literally just was in there, like, vibing, literally. And I fell asleep. But we're not gonna do that today. We're not gonna do that today. I always spray perfume on, like, before I go work out or break a sweat. I don't know if that's just me, but I smelled it. Hopefully, they let me vlog in there. But I gotta get there early so I can get like a nice setup going on, you know? This is my Fuzzy Heat lip gloss from Rihanna's um, makeup line, Fenty Beauty. Love that. And I'm about to get my shoes. I'm low key like kind of brushing though, like, well, high key brushing. Honestly, I didn't think that they were gonna let me in the class because I literally booked so last minute and so late. And now everybody and a mama want to get into hot yoga, which is great. But like, dang, like the people who book last minute, like me, <laughs> we struggling out here because I can't book last minute no more. There's all types of lint on my Lululemon jacket. Like I really hate this. I don't have a lint ruler. Oh my gosh. This is really going to bother me. Maybe it won't be that bad. And I'm literally going to work out anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I just don't like lint on my stuff. Like, ew. But we're all dressed. Oh! Is it giving yoga? I hope it is. <laughs> okay, something's in my pocket. What is this? No. All right, y'all. So, I'm literally about to head out, get my yoga mat, and get my water. Okay? And I guess I'm gonna see y'all when we get there. <laughs> I'm so excited, I feel so good. And I don't know if it's just me, but like really quick, I just wanna talk about this. That song by Janae Aiko, Waze, I don't know what it is about that song, but it literally makes me so emotional. Like, I literally be tearing up sometimes, girl. I'm like, am I just a crybaby? Or is that song like really emotional for everybody? Like, I don't know, literally like, that is my song and I just recently started playing that when I do like my morning gratitude and my affirmations and just it just really sets the vibe for me and like the words like are so real it just moves me and I really love that song so let me know if y'all be crying <laughs> or not crying but like tearing up because I know I'm a cry baby and I can be like dramatic sometimes but I don't think that's the case when it comes to this song. I think that song made everybody emotional. Like, I don't know. And it speaks to me like it really just resonates very deep with me. Like when she said, you have got to lose your mind just to find your peace of mind. Then she said, you have got to trust the signs that everything will turn out fine. Like literally. 
like ugh. okay y'all i'm not gonna like ramble too much on that but let me know if that song makes y'all sensitive too like just emotional i don't know okay anyway i'm about to go ahead and head out y'all to our yoga class and i guess i will see you guys once we get there We have arrived to yoga. I'm a little late, so let's go ahead and head inside so we can find a seat. Far away.
like, yo. I had stopped and picked up my mail, by the way, since I was already coming from downstairs. But, y'all, I don't even care that I look crazy right now. I literally, like, do not care. I literally look a mess. I actually look atrocious. But, girl, I'm, like, I am worn out. Like, when I tell you, like, hot yoga is no joke, baby, I'm talking about, like, no joke. Like, we get down at that yoga studio. Like, I don't know how much footage I'm going to include in the vlog, but I definitely wanted to, like, record um, a more, like, thorough yoga session to, like, bring you guys with me so y'all can really see, like, how good yoga is for your body and how good it makes you feel and how much sweat comes out of doing yoga. Like, you're literally releasing so many toxins. Like, it's similar to, like doing yoga in a sauna, right? And you guys know saunas are really, really good for you just to detoxify everything. Being in the sauna is like really, really good for you. And combining yoga with being in the sauna, like that's literally what it is, a heated yoga studio and you're doing yoga, you know what I mean? And it's just like, every time it's just so good. Oh, let me wash my hands real quick because I'm over here touching my face and stuff, y'all. I need to get in the shower, oh my gosh. I literally need to take a shower so bad. Whew, chop. Hey y'all, anyway, so yeah girl, like one thing about hot yoga, you are going to sweat. Like you're literally gonna sweat. Um, I don't know if y'all saw in the footage from the yoga session, but I was literally like, dripping like the sweat was falling off of my face onto the mat. And honestly, I'm not a person that sweats rarely ever. Like, I'm not a sweater. It takes a lot for me to sweat. I can do a whole workout in the gym, won't sweat. Pilates, barely sweating. You know what I'm saying? Like, but hot yoga, I don't know what it is. I think it's like the heated studio for a fact that is like having me dripped down in sweat. But girl, the abs after, and this is no flex. And like, y'all see how I'm talking? This is, this is, this is no flex. This is, this is no flex. I guess something about taking care of myself and like doing things that make me feel good and like look good that just make me feel better. Like I just really feel so good right now. Honestly, I didn't really wanna go, but I knew the hardest part about, you know, the whole process was showing up. And once you show up, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? And I was running a little bit late. And so I didn't get my favorite corner in the studio. I had to get in the middle. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I was in the middle. I hate being in the middle. I like being in the corner, but whatever um but yeah it was really good my edges are like done like my hair curling up right here y'all can't really see but we gotta get this together i'm about to get in the shower girl you've never taken a hot yoga class this is your sign to do that for yourself and just beyond the whole physical like positive aspect of doing hot yoga mentally it literally gets you like together you know what i'm saying like before i went you guys know I kind of had a rough start to my morning. Although getting in my Bible and my journals and stuff and my breakfast like really did help me, I feel like that next level of like going to yoga and just working out and just sweating it out and just getting my mental together like really just shaped everything like perfectly. You know what I mean? So I'm really happy that I was able to go and like show up for myself today. And I literally just feel so good like I'm so excited for this summer. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. <laughs> Y'all see it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, okay? Like you make the best lemonade. Have the best lemonade stand. Like you make your lemonade and you share your lemonade, right? To people, to spread positivity, spread love. And that's what life is really all about. Without further ado, girl, I'm about to go ahead and take a shower because literally, y'all can't really tell. Well, maybe y'all can't tell, I don't really know, but I look rough and I am like sticky and sweaty and I need to take a shower like real bad. So um, I'm about to go ahead and take a shower and you know, wash my face really, really good with that antibacterial soap. 
okay because i was sweating and it was getting my eyes and stuff so i'm about to wash my face with that antibacterial soap my panoxyl my la roche pose just really get into my skin heavy because as y'all saw in the previous clip from yoga i was literally sweating so bad and it was like dripping off my face so i really 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 want to get into my face really good get into my pores my skin take a really hot shower exfoliate all that girl like we really want to take care of our body today so that's what i'm gonna be doing and then after i'm done kind of freshening up and getting ready for the day i guess i will check back in with you guys so bye as you guys know i have been working out a lot recently and sometimes i wake up the next day feeling super sore with tight muscles the bob and brad c2 pro massage gun is designed to reduce muscle tension and promote relaxation this massage gun has five unique massage heads to further stimulate blood flow and reduce any soreness i may be experiencing one of my personal favorite features about this device is the heat and ice effect by the press of a button i'm able to instantly feel whichever temperature best suits me so that i'm able to comfortably relax and soothe my body with up to five different speed levels to choose from i'm able to pick one that gives my body the best deep massage possible this device has been such a lifesaver for me it's like having a personal masseuse available anytime that i need it making it a convenient tool for relaxation and recovery after workouts or long days thank you so much to bob and brad for sponsoring today's video click the link in my description box to get yours today hello everybody so as you can see it's a lot later in the day um, i'm all freshened up and just kind of got myself together for the remainder of the day this shirt is from plt and then i just have on these like regular black leggings um i'm starving as y'all probably guessed and of course we have to go to the grocery store to get groceries um i saw this recipe on tiktok a beef and broccoli and if you know you know i feel like beef and broccoli is like the best take out that you can ever possibly get from a Chinese restaurant but I don't want to order it so I think we're gonna try and make it at home I think it'll be fun to do with y'all so I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get the ingredients that I need I made me a little list of things that I already have and then I kind of like put an emoji by things that I need to get so I need to get obviously the steak and the broccoli because I don't have that and then I also need to get cornstarch and sesame seeds and then sesame oil so beef broccoli sesame seeds sesame oil and cornstarch and i'm debating if i'm gonna have rice with it because y'all know i've been trying to do my no carbs thing i'm not gonna say i haven't been successful with that but i i could have did better you know so i think i'm gonna try and like challenge myself this week to like really really do no carbs but like i worked out today so i feel like i deserve carbs like i worked out so i feel like you know kind of like make it make sense in my head let me know if it makes sense to y'all but like i just really feel like some rice would hit with this i just i don't know i can't not have rice like what the beef go with the broccoli and the little glaze goes with the rice that's just you know and it all goes in one mouthful like you know what i'm saying like i feel like i just can't see myself eating that without no rice so i don't know maybe they have like cauliflower rice but if they don't have that and then i think i'm gonna get rice but i worked out today so i feel like you know life's all about balance okay and i told y'all that in my previous vlog so i think we're gonna eat the rice like i'm just so excited to see like how it turns out i've never made this dish before so let's just hope it's good the video that i saw on tiktok doesn't look like too complicated it looks very simple straight to the point and i'm gonna try and remake it so if you love beef and broccoli and you want you a cute little quick easy recipe then keep on watching and then i saw on tiktok that trader joe's actually has a frozen like beef and broccoli dinner already prepared for you and the girls said it was good that's what they said but me personally like i just i'm not gonna say i'm not a frozen food person but like some foods i'm not gonna eat frozen like i'm not gonna eat no frozen beef and broccoli like i just i don't know it don't really sit right with me maybe it's good i don't know but i just can't see myself like eating no frozen beef and broccoli and thinking it's about to slap and then the beef is like breaded so that just gave me every reason to just want to make my own so that's what we're going to be doing it's like some foods you can eat frozen like a frozen pizza um I don't know like frozen stuff like that but like beef and broccoli i'm not about to be eating no frozen beef and broccoli like i don't know if that's just me but anyways y'all um 
yeah so i'm about to go ahead and head over to the grocery store we're gonna get everything on our grocery list and i was also thinking about stopping to trader joe's if Publix doesn't have a really nice like floral selection i was thinking about going to trader joe's to give me some flowers because y'all know i love to keep fresh flowers in my house and i haven't had any in like a little over two weeks which is concerning i think i need to send a text message because like what's going on now i'm just joking but on a serious note um i love to just keep flowers in my house and just like spoil myself and just treat myself to flowers like fresh flowers in my house i've always done that like ever since i moved in this condo i've always just kept fresh flowers in my house i feel like it kind of just sets the vibe it sets the vibe and it just makes me feel good and that's just something that i like to do so we're gonna see if we can find some really nice flowers at Publix. But honestly, if you know, you know, Trader Joe's floral section goes stupid, okay? They have a really nice floral selection. So if we can't find anything at Publix, then I'm gonna take the drive to Trader Joe's. And we're gonna see what we have in store for the rest of the night. I know I need to edit, 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 edit. I need to set out some time to find some music for my vlogs. And what else do I need to do? Oh, I also need to fill out some um, collaboration contracts for brands and yeah, I think that's all like YouTube stuff that I need to do today. So yeah, girl, we're going to see. We're going to see. Just keep watching. Stay tuned. Follow along and I'm going to go ahead and head out and I will see you guys in the car once we're on the way to the grocery store. To my left, to my right, and every day we gon' get high every day. On a different tax break, different time zone. Future really snapped on this whole album, y'all. Like. Ooh, 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 ooh. Easy for the sh I put it in my nose, it's gon' make all about a group touch. Okay, y'all, so apparently I'm just in my like future bag right now. I just really been loving Future's music, but um, yeah, we made it to Publix. I figured that I'm just gonna go in here and get the flowers and the groceries because I don't really feel like going to Trader Joe's. Like, I don't feel like going to two stores and I'm actually really hungry. So I'm really about to go in here and get what I need and leave so we can go home and cook because I'm really hungry for real. And I don't know why the block's so hot right now. It's like three police cars at this Publix. But I think somebody broke into their car, honestly. Yeah, I think somebody got their car broken into. I'm telling you, Atlanta is insane because why I'm at the parking lot in the grocery store and I come out and my car got broken into or my car is gone. Like, they really be doing stuff out here. And I'm just so thankful and so blessed. Thank you, God, because I really don't know what I would do if that happened to me. Like, that's insane. Like, really, really insane, but I hope everything's not right for them. Um, yeah, y'all, let me cut this car off because I'm just sitting here with a car on talking. I'm about to go ahead and head out to the grocery store. I hope it's not packed. It don't look packed from the outside. Like, I was able to find me, like, a decent park. Not my favorite park, but I was able to find a decent one. Usually when it's packed, you can't find no park at all. So, I think we're doing good but yeah i'm about to go in here and get the stuff that we need get our flowers and then we out of here And this grocery haul that I want to do is not even really a grocery haul because I legit got like five things. But I'm really happy about my roses. One thing about me, I'm always get two dozen. Like I just can't do one. I have to get two. It just looks super full and pretty. And honestly, 
I don't know if y'all saw in the store, but Publix, like, their flower selection, their floral section is complete garbage. Or at least the one that I go to. I don't know about all Publix, but the one that I go to is so garbage. Like, that's why I wanted to go to Trader Joe's, but I just didn't feel like driving over there. But girl, these were like the best ones that I could find. Like, and they're still not even like all that, but they will do. Then I have my super cute vase. I love this vase. It's so nice. I got it from Target, but we're gonna do this after I finish cooking because I need to eat like now. I'm literally starving. I was gonna get like regular steak and like chop it up myself. But I saw this and it says top ground for stir fry or fajitas and beef and broccoli is kind of like a stir fry thing. And so the beef is already sliced up for you. And I thought this was like perfect. So let's work for me. And then I only have this other bag and I want to show all this sauce because I didn't even know that P.F. Chang had this. I was going to make my own and like probably like mess it up. So instead, I just got this. This is Pia Chang's beef and broccoli cooking sauce. It says just add beef in the broccoli and then boom. So the goal is that my food turns out looking like this. That's the goal, okay? Moving along, I also got some sesame seeds. I already have black sesame seeds, but I wanted like the brown looking ones for this dish. So I picked up some of these. And girl, these was expensive. These was like $4 for some sesame seeds. And I don't, I don't know why, but we got that. And I also got some broccoli, of course, for our beef and broccoli. Love that. And then, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I got me some rice. I got me some jasmine rice. Um, like I said earlier, I was working out, so I'm gonna have my rice, like, balance. So I picked up this jasmine rice. I feel like jasmine rice is like really good with like Asian cuisine type dishes. And so I got some of this. I am really excited like to make my love food. Like I really need to wash these dishes, but I'm gonna do it after um, I cook, probably tomorrow. Cause I know after I cook, I'm gonna get the itis and I'm not gonna wanna feel like doing nothing. Okay, literally. But I am gonna work on those um, influencer like collaboration contracts tonight. And those of you who are watching, who are interested in that kind of thing, where you create content yourself, and you know you're a very small creator, I feel like you need to tune in because having collaboration contracts, no matter how big or how small the brand is or whatever, how big or much they're paying you, like none of that matters. I really feel like having a collaboration contract as a small creator, as any creator really but i feel like when you're a small creator we think like oh we don't have to do that because we're not like super big we don't have a huge following but that's not the case okay because when you have a collaboration contract to a brand i feel like off rip they're gonna take you serious they're not gonna try and like negotiate your rate prices like you come in like you know what i'm saying like you really showing up for your brand which is yourself so if you don't have management you're a small creator having a collaboration contract no matter what is key okay and let me be walking living proof of that like, i don't have a massive massive following but i'm still gonna show up for myself and for my brand okay and have that contract you know what i'm saying so we'll go over all that later on tonight um if i can't remember girl because I'm, I'm probably gonna be knocked out after this food but we'll go over that a little bit later on tonight and i also need to edit and I told y'all earlier, I was gonna try and find some like copyright free music for like more vlogs, just like section off of time to do that. And I typically don't talk about like YouTube, like stuff on my vlogs, but I've realized I have quite a bit of like YouTubers and like content creators and people who, you know, create content that watch my videos. And I really feel like we should be helping each other out. So let me know if y'all are interested in me like talking about YouTube stuff and like copyright free music and collaboration contracts and just stuff like that because I'm a girl's girl. I'm here to help y'all out. Like that's just what this is. So anywho, I'm getting on topic y'all. Why do I always do that? Like, and he's still going. Living in a high rise, con number one. <laughs> but anywho, let's go ahead and get into this food. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start my rice first because rice 
typically takes the longest time. This looks so good. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Never say you can't cook because what recipes are literally online, you can literally make anything that you're craving that you want. And I promise you, it's gonna taste way better. It's so hot. And I don't wanna burn the roof of my mouth, I ain't got time for that. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Yeah, this is really like 10 out of 10. Mm. And it's beef. Mm. Oh my god, what the f It's so hot. But it's so good. Like, I don't even want to wait for it to cool down. Like, that's how hungry I am. Mm. When I say y'all, that was too good. Y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go in for seconds, okay? And after that, I'm probably gonna be sleepy. Like, y'all know how this go. So, um, if I don't go to sleep though, I'm gonna rekindle with y'all later. But if I do, I'm gonna go ahead and close off the vlog here just to be on the safe side. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I would love to have you a part of my community. So if you are not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment, okay? Because I see all my comments. I respond to all my comments and I want to talk to y'all. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Yeah, girl, that's really it. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog and I'm going to see y'all next week, okay? In my next video. Mm -hmm.